Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I think you've come thus far. What I was thinking is before I start off with uh, avatar based learning, the next section as such, I quickly wanted to do a, another sense check and also quickly do a bit of a summary of uh, what all we covered. Not exactly summary, but I also wanted to share with you that, uh, you know, this is an interactive course. So your feedback is welcome. At the same time, it's a dynamic course. When I say it's a dynamic course, it's not that uh, once you have gone through a particular section, the section will remain as is. Uh, section will remain as is, but I will keep updating, right? I will keep updating with the latest, um, whether, whether it is models, whether it is articles, whether it is YouTube videos, or whether uh, you know, it is uh, anything, uh, any update that I receive, because I'm keeping an eye on each and every aspect of uh, this particular course. I will be updating. So I wanted to go through uh, the kind of updates I've made. I think after you have gone through the, the course as well. So uh, you might have look, looked at the first part of it, the first section, which was introduction. Uh, I have added uh, some resources over there, you know, one which is a student guide. I think that is very important. What I'll do continuously is to keep updating it and uh, keep making notes. And I have created a Word document so you can also uh, right there and, and save it at one particular place so that at the end of the course you have solid notes in terms of your own observations and learnings and uh, the assignments are designed in such a way that you would uh, have to you know come up with your own innovations I mean we had for example four case studies we have studied as part of uh, micro learning so the assignment is basically that you need to come up with your own idea which is implementable in your workspace uh, that way, you know, you would make sense of the course rather than just go through the course and, and uh, take the certificate and be done with it. Uh, it will add value to you and uh, that's very important, guys. So use the student guide. And uh, again, I think the active listening template for Whisper courses, which I've uh, included, is very important. There's an example over there. And uh, I would urge you to, um, you know, come up with your own email template Rather use the template, but you know, in terms of whatever topic you want uh, to teach or make your staff learn uh, for that particular month, come up with the entire uh, four four different mails uh, using this template. So micro learning, uh, just going through it, I've added uh, the assignment. So uh, in terms of demo, you've seen the seven taps demo. Uh, I've added a platform assignment uh, there where you will actually have to go through three different uh, micro learning apps and uh, you know give me a summary in terms of your learning over there uh, for edumi i've uh, created a demo uh, and also for mind flash so you have an idea in terms of how exactly these micro learning platforms actually work uh, then and uh, yeah they, let's practice now in micro learning any which ways there's a template there's a student guide so you can go through it i've i've, I've talked about it uh, in metaverse again you might have a question you know in micro learning we had a lot to practice right metaverse is evolving so at this point of time we just need to be aware in terms of what's happening across the world so from that standpoint what i've done is uh I've, there's a group on linkedin which i want you guys to join uh where latest updates are being discussed each and every day there are a lot of updates on on a typical day so in in order to be you know updated uh, it's better for us to be in a group so you you have a group over there please join there are a couple of case studies on digital clinical uh, processes for healthcare uh, and for field technicians please go through that there's a latest uh, video on on youtube which has come again uh, from the group which I, which I was there in linkedin on augmented virtual realities changing the way we commute so i found it very uh, very very interesting so go through that uh, you know, in case you have finished off uh, the introduction, go back and have a look at these external resources. Um, I think there's another article which I included in the What is Metaverse uh, Lecture 11, bringing full bodied fashion to space, you'll go through that. And that's how the course is going to be. It's going to be dynamic. Uh, so as far as I am concerned, I'm going to continue to keep the course updated as and when I see any kind of latest updates across the world. Uh, again, the, I did the last part of uh, uh, the section four is on the case study from eight PNB. Uh, I think I'll include uh, an assignment over there uh, shortly. So please go through that. Uh, so that's how the course is going to be, guys. And uh, you know, any feedback from you in terms of how this is going on, very welcome. 
uh, and I'm, I'm loving to uh, you know deliver this course on, on Udemy for you guys. So that's it for me uh, and uh, I'm going to start off with the next section um, on avatar based learning and let's meet there guys. Thank you.